G'day there trendsetters, here we are in our 1974 aluminium frame Millard Caravan 15 footer and we are gutting it essentially. Uh, you may have watched in the previous video, we tried to cosmetically restore it but there were just too many underlying damp issues, um, things that we can't really see where the leakage is coming from. We've resealed the windows, there's, we believe there's some water coming in through some of the frame joinings. Um, and we're going to get down to the bottom of it. Also, we're getting rid of, there's been a bit of an odor here. The previous owner was a smoker. It's really ancient uh, and there's been some water coming in. And so there's probably might be a bit of even rot in the roof in one or two of the supporting beams, which we'll get down to. So this is just a few hints and tricks on things to be mindful of when you are gutting it. The first thing you want to do is take a flathead screwdriver and just undo all the electrical fittings. Of course, you're going to make sure there's no power coming into this, so it's safe. Um, so I've done that to all of them. And then just keep all the screws in case you're going to recycle them in a little plastic bag or container. And that's step one. Then look, it's actually pretty easy to strip. I'm really good at destroying things, not great at building things. Um, these light fittings we're going to keep. Once you've undone that cover, just want to take all the screws out. We're going to keep those. They're beautiful. And it's just safety equipment. Comes down to some good gloves. A lot of the stuff you can actually rip out by hand. Eye protection. A bit of a respirator because it's pretty dusty. Um, then tools. A lot of the fittings happen to be flathead. This is like a little pry bar. And that's you want to go low here because I learned the hard way that there's sometimes not much gap between the um, plywood wall and the actual aluminium frame. And so if you go hard and heavy with a mallet, you might dent the frame. So don't do that, kind of just pry it out. You can see the water damage that's coming on here. And that seems to have continued even though I've sealed up the J-rail on the outside. So we're gonna get to the bottom of this and we're starting afresh with a blank slate. Getting rid of this is also gonna improve the sleeping quarters. You don't really, you know, from, from, from what a lot of uh, travelers do, especially in the Australian summer, you're not going to want to eat in here. You're going to want to eat outside in the kind of alfresco gazebo vibe. Also, the advantage of stripping this down is we're going to be able to insulate. So maybe $100 of insulation, you're going to really magnify your comfort. Uh, so you just buy that uh, foil roll from Bunning, Bunnings and put it in here. And uh, of course, we're going to get a Sparky, a good friend. ENC Electrical, Avi Kasman's gonna come around. He's gonna check it in and put in the safety switch and make sure everything's hunky-dory with the electrical because she is an old little caravan. So that's that. Safety equipment, go gentle. I'm cleaning up as I go. Got a hard rubbish collection taking out the debris. Kitchen's gone and this is coming uh, coming out easily. Let's just show you this multi-tool, AKA a hatchet, is actually doing a lot of great work. That kind of just loosens it enough, and you can see with a bit of a hand job, you'll be able to remove that. So that's the plan, All right? Boy.